am I audible to all of you? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, fine. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah. Uh, see, this is our second session. First session we had uh, our introduction. Then we had a, a brief talk on this particular slide. What is management? I hope all of you are able to recall. Uh, yes. Sonali, you want to say something? Sonali, uh, you have raised your hand. Do you want to hello, say something? Hello, sir. Yes. Yes, yes Sonali. Hello, sir. Yes, sir. I want to like to introduce myself exactly. Yeah, yeah. In fact, last time few of you have not introduced yourself. I introduced my first class. Okay, okay. Fine, Sonali. You, you can yes, go exactly. Ahead. I was not able to log in. in I was not able to. Uh, I have not access to uh, able to log in in the first class. That's first why. Class. And today I got the access to join. That's why. Okay, okay, fine. You, you can, you can please introduce hello, yourself. Hello. Yes, yeah. sir. I would, I would like to introduce myself. My name is Sonali. Yes, I am from Odisha and from Barampur. I have completed my BBA from the year 2012, and it's 2022. From last 10 years, I la uh, I lacked my career, but now I again start up my career. So I would like to join this Symbiosis Center learning for this MBA because I again want to pa give a correct path to my career. That's why. Okay, Sonali, what what were Thank you doing you, for what were you doing for last 10 years? Uh, sitting idle or uh, anything else? Exactly, I am not right. right now. Right now, I'm uh, uh, working as a in my city PM KBY center skill center. Okay. Right now, I'm working as a part part time. Okay. But uh, for last ten years, I, I was um, in gap because of my marriage and child and all. That's why. Yeah. But right now, I again wanted to uh, give a good path in my career. Okay, fine. Uh, another Sonali is there, Sonali Mittal. Uh, Sonali, uh, you would you like to introduce yourself? Yes. Y yes, Sonali Mittal. Yes, sir. Good afternoon, sir. Hello. Good afternoon. Uh, my name is Sonali Mittal. I am from Bikaner. Okay. Uh, presently, sir, I am working in HPFC Life and Insurance. Okay. I have done my BCom in 2017. Uh, in BCom in 2015 and MCom in 2017. Okay. I have gap of studies of five years okay. due to my marriage issues and my personal life. Okay. Presently, I want to you. Presently, I want to enhance my profile, so I joined this MBA degree program for my better profile. Okay, fine, fine. Uh, welcome, welcome, Sonali, to this second session. This is uh, is this your first session? Or, uh, yes, sir. You? Okay, fine, fine. fine. Yes. Uh, another thank thing. you so much, sir. Thank you, thank you, and welcome. Uh, another name is Das Gupta. Uh, das Gupta, you want yes, to introduce? Sir. Yeah. Actually, uh, I uh, missed the last session. You attended last session? Uh, your voice is not clear. Das Gupta, your voice is not yeah. uh, This is my first class. Yeah, okay, I'm okay, okay, fine. Welcome, welcome to the. This is my first class, sir. Okay, fine, fine, fine. No issue. Uh, you missed out the first class, right? The class which was held on 8th. Okay, yes, anyway, uh, yes, welcome, sir. welcome class. to the session. Uh, another name is. Uh, uh, actually, I don't know that. Pardon me, uh, your voice is cracking. Yes, fine. Anyway, uh, another name is Brind, Brindraj, Brindraj Mahadia. Mahidia. You want to say something? Yes, sir. It's Brindraj, sir. Brindraj, right. Brindraj. Yes. So, class 2, I mean, uh, last. Again, your voice is cracking. Well, Hello. Anyway, uh, yes. We are not able to hear you. Bro. Another name is Simran. Simran. Uh, Hello. Uh, yes, this is my. Oh, this 
is your first class. Uh, hello, sir. Good afternoon. Hello, am I audible, sir? Yes, 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 sir. Yes. Uh, my name is Simran Chhabra, and I am from from Indore. I have done my graduation and become. Okay, Two fine. years back, and due to Corona, there is some gap in my MBA program. So I am currently working in a jewelry jewelry sector, and I am moving into marketing and operations. Okay, fine. Uh, is so, this is this your first class? Yes, yes, this is my first class. Okay, okay, fine, fine. Uh, Manisha also would like to introduce. Okay, thank herself. you, sir. Yeah, thank you, thank you, Simran, and welcome, welcome to the. Yes, hi, good afternoon, sir. Yes, Manisha, Sony. Hi, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, sir. Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon, good afternoon. Uh, yes, sir. My name is my name is Manisha Sobhi, and uh, basically I am from Jaipur. And uh, since so last two years, I am uh, situated in Pune, and uh, I have done my B.Sc in Chemistry Honors from uh, Jaipur only, and I have done my M.Sc as well in Mathematics, and now I am pursuing M.B.A. from this in Boston. And uh, I am also working in a, an organization since last four years. I think most of you are working, right? And that is all for uh, all of you. Anybody else would like to introduce? Yes. Just. Sir, uh, I want to introduce myself. Yeah. Hello. Uh, who is this? Just a moment. Just a moment. Yes, sir. Priyam Chawla. Priyam. Yes. Priyam, go ahead. Yes, good, good afternoon, everyone. Good afternoon. My name is Priyam Chawla. I am from Kolhapur. I completed my graduation from Swimboys College of Arts and Commerce in Bikom Marketing. Currently, I am managing my family business, and along with that, I am started. I have started an online MBA to enhance my management skills and finance skills. Okay, good, good, good. Good afternoon and welcome. So I think that is all for the introduction part. Uh, shall we start with our session? Yes, sir. Okay, fine. Yes, sir. Fine, fine, fine. Yeah, just a moment. I'll just do the recap for what we have done last time. In fact, we have done it with the definition of management, and uh, this was the bookish definition which we have seen that management is a process of planning, decision making, organizing, leading, motivation, and controlling. the human resource financial resource physical resource and information resource of an organization to reach its goal effectively and efficiently these are the two very important word which we have discussed uh, you have to always remember when we talk from the point of view of management efficiency and effectiveness are, uh, are the two words which are very important right this is what we have seen uh, in, in simple layman's language management is nothing but the Art of getting things done through people. This is what we have seen: uh, efficiency and effectiveness. In fact, we have seen the level of management also last time. What are the various levels of management? Uh, along with the example, like executive level, uh, we have what examples are president, CEO, vice chancellor. When we talk from the point of view of uh, uh, university. Uh, the head is the vice chancellor who uh, sorry, to you. Me, sorry yes. to interrupt you pardon me sorry to interrupt you but your screen is not visible it is not visible okay just to just to no sir no okay fine just to just let me know uh, now it's visible is, is it visible now? yes sir okay now yes sir yes sir okay, yes, sir. okay. Yes, good 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 see this is the this is our earlier slide in fact yes, we have we have not we were not able to complete the entire session because uh, half way we were into introduction part only uh, last time what we have seen was this is uh, the definition of management 
we have learned the bookish definition as well as we have discussed these are the two important words as i said efficiently and effectively right? so these are the two words which we have seen when we talk from the management point of view we always talk from the point of view of efficiency and effectiveness this is this is what you have to remember always right efficiency and effectiveness are two very very important words uh we have seen this uh, we have seen the level of management last time uh and we have taken few examples also like top executives or top management executive level management uh, the examples were president ceo ceo cfo right all these people who occupy the top position are the top executive or top level manager or top level managers also we can call them middle level managers we have taken the examples uh like middle level manage, managers are who this this type of managers are the managers who are interface between the lower level managers and the top executives they usually are project director and dean when we talk from the point of view of uh, education universities right uh, dean of a particular uh, course for example management or for example commerce right plant manager is also a part of middle level managers first line managers are usually supervisors or product managers who are interface between the operating employee and the middle level managers so this is the hierarchy of 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 most of the organizations uh, nowadays uh, the sir sorry to interrupt you but your voice is not uh, clear sir yes Hello. so your voice is not audible okay. sir your voice is breaking yes okay. it is not coming from just a moment let me let me check out the internet connection just a moment just a moment uh is it audible now is it audible yes sir yes sir yes sir, yes, sir. Yes, sir. okay okay good 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 okay fine yes so this is the hierarchy of uh, most of the organization uh, in fact this hierarchy may not be present in uh, content uh, the modern organization or contemporary organization we can call it uh, most of the organization flat in nature in fact most of the people they are occupying the executive level only especially it organization most of the time right especially organization which uh, work in virtual mode this type of see this hierarchy is usually applicable to most of the manufacturing firm or service industry operating employee uh, themselves may be the middle level manager or they themselves may be top level executive so uh, many new organization virtual organization we can call them uh, this hierarchy is not present the hierarchy which i which you can see on your screen okay so it is not at all a thumb rule that this hierarchy will exist with all the organizations few organizations as i said few of organizations are, are in uh, matrix in nature they are they are matrix sort of organization few are virtual as i said so this hierarchy uh, typical hierarchy may not not be there okay so that that part you have to always remember just fine so this is what we have seen last time uh, i'll i'll move further yeah this is again a very famous acronym for the functions of management Uh, you can always remember this acronym while writing your paper, or if you are not able to recall something, and uh, this is this is in sequence. P O S D C O R B. What does it stands for? P stands for planning, O for organizing, S for staffing, D for directing, <coughs> C for coordinating or controlling, mm. and directing, uh, R coordinating. For, R for yes, R for reporting and reporting. reporting. Yeah, R for reporting and budget. for budgeting. budgeting. B for budgeting. B for budgeting. So uh, this budgeting. this this uh, is said to be the functions of management or the functions of manager. What manager perform is he plan, he organize, he staff his team, he direct or lead his team, then he control his team, then he uh, report to the top management and do the budgeting part. Right. So uh, usually post corp. Uh, Includes most of the functions, but there are four basic fun functions. If you want to remember, planning, organizing, staffing, and leading. I'll be showing you a few small videos on this so that you remember it completely. When, whenever we talk about the functions of management, we talk about this 
post quad right so we'll be discussing about this one by one uh, here uh, this this goes in a circle this goes in a loop planning organizing staffing directing and control uh, i'll i'll be talking uh, detail on each and or uh, each and every function of management in our uh, further classes we'll be taking planning all together differently organizing staffing because this is what the syllabus talks about right so uh, i'm i would like to share you one small video on this functions of management so that the concept becomes very clear with all of you right just a moment i'd like to share my screen along with the video and see at the end of the video i'll be asking you few questions also and this is applicable to uh, whenever i show you a video you are supposed to answer few of my questions yeah just a recording in progress Uh, yeah, I, 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 yeah. Just, Is this not audible, uh, sir? Yes, yes. In fact, I I got disconnected. Don't worry. I've I've again joined. Just a minute. Just a minute. Wait. Just let me know whether you are able to see the video once I share it. Just a moment. Understanding of the functions of management can help you effectively manage. Yes, sir. Video is visible. Wait, is it? Uh, yeah, it is visible. Right, right. Just a moment. Huh? Yes. It can help you understand, at the minimum, the purpose of some departments such as quality control, recruitment, or training. As a frontline leader, it can help you appreciate the activities and tasks you need to do. There are five functions of management. These are post-con, planning, organizing, process, see, uh, yeah, cloud, staffing, just, directing. Just, yeah, yeah, just a moment. See, many a time post-con is also called as post-con, right? Planning and control. Planning is charting the future. It is deciding in advance what to do, when to do it, and how it's going to be done. It can be as big as deciding the mission, vision, and objectives of a company, or a plan to improve certain business metric of your team. It is identifying what you want, when you should achieve it. and how it will be achieved next organizing is called the backbone of management organizing is grouping of activities together think of your departments all employees that hire additional employees are grouped under the recruitment department or those who advertise and sell the product serve under marketing and sales and those who actually make the product or services work under productions or operations organizing is also creating the organizational structure or hierarchy of the business it's delegation of authority and creation of responsibilities and tasks organizing also ensures that whatever necessary items the business or department needs are met such as the need for materials like machineries or computers capital and personnel third staffing is commonly associated with hiring and promoting employees as a function of management it goes more than that as it involves training and development remuneration or compensation and performance appraisal directing on the other hand makes the plans concrete it involves supervision motivation 
leadership, and guidance of employees. All of these are done to ensure that organizational goals are met. Finally, controlling is measuring performance on a set of standards and correcting any deviation. Let's say your actual net promoter score or client satisfaction is lower than the target. Control would mean creating the necessary steps to correct and achieve the target. Overall, a frontline leader would normally do a smaller version of each function. On a bigger level, each function can be represented by different departments or roles. Planning is normally done by middle managers and up, such as department managers or district heads. Organizing is done by HR or senior managers. While staffing is handled by training, recruitment, and HR. Directing is handled by frontline leaders or operations, and control is handled by quality control. These are just some general activities of each function, and each industry or business will have more or less depending on their needs and wants. So these are the functions of management. So I hope you have followed the video uh, clearly. Uh, my question is, I hope all of you have followed the video clearly. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, my yes, question, yeah. Yes, okay, okay. My question is, what is the purpose of controlling? Why to control? Yeah, why to control and what to control? What is the purpose? Uh, controlling as a function. Sir, may I answer this? Yes, yes. Who's who's that? Just a moment. Please raise the your hand. Tension here, sir. Uh, yeah, please raise your hand. Ah, uh, I'm I'm right now in office and I'm attending from mobile. Okay, fine. So fine, fine, not fine. able to do it. No, so no, can no, I still no. answer? Yes, yes. Please go. Ahead. Controlling is required to ensure that the work is done in the required period of time efficiently and with more productiveness. Right, good, good. I'll take it. Uh, see, Am I correct, sir? Yeah, yeah. You're, you're perfect. You're correct. Thank you. See, uh, yeah, controlling is basically to uh, see to it that whatever objective you have set earlier, once once you do the planning, you you set your objectives, right? The objectives may may be related to time. It may be related to quantity or quality as well. So you have to see to it through controlling that you are not deviating deviating from your uh, set target or set purpose, right? So that is the that is the function of controlling. So controlling is a management function of checking to determine whether employees are following plans and progress is being made and of uh, and uh, of taking action to reduce discrepancies right that is deviation all of you following me what i'm saying so controlling is very essential yes, yeah. controlling is very essential to know yes, whether sir. you are you are in the right Audio. direction and whether you are going to reach your target. Yes, sir, but your voice is cracking, sir. It's cracking again. Your voice is cracking, sir. Just, just, just a minute. Yes. Is there network issue, sir? It may be network, yeah. Mithal, you want to say something? Yes. Mith Mithali, sorry. Mithali. Purshwani. Mithali, you want to say something, add something? Hello. Sir, may I, sir? Yes, sir, yes, may please. I, sir? Yes, go ahead. Uh, sir, uh, can we say that uh, uh, the organization also... Your voice is cracking. Your voice is cracking. Satyendra. Yes. So, yes, sir. Now we can hear Yeah, I can hear so you. Can, we yeah, can say you speak that, a bit, uh, a bit yeah. louder? Sir, can, uh, can we say that it tries to... Uh, think uh, uh, the individual goals are with the objectives of the organization to link between the two right right fine yeah see uh, as i said controlling is like checking the discrepancies and checking the deviation so you need to be right on the target right so this is uh, this was for the first session what we have discussed post corp today what we are going to discuss is this uh, i'm going to show you the slide uh, not this one Yeah, today we're going to discuss something about managers, right? Why are managers important? This this is going to be our learning objectives. Uh, explain why managers are important to organization. Tell who managers are and where they work. Describe the functions, roles and skills of manager. 
describe the factors that are reshaping and Sorry, redefining sir. manager's job. Yes. Yes, sir. Yeah, who's who's there? Yes, yeah, your screen is not. Yes, sir. You can see Yeah, sir, your screen is not clear and the slides. Just, just a minute. See, uh, slide is not visible, right? That's what you're saying. Yes, sir. Is it visible? Now? Is it visible? Sir, I think you can zoom and show the slide. Is it visible now? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. It is visible. Sir, you can zoom in. Yes, yes, I mean, you can make it, make it larger. Yes, yes, I'll, I'll make it larger. Uh, is it okay now? Sir, it's fine. Yes, sir, it's fine. Okay, okay, okay fine. See, uh, earlier slide, as I said, uh, this is what we fine. have seen. Yeah, this is what we have seen. Uh, last, first lecture, this was the PPT prepared for the first lecture. That is, what is management and what are the level of management. This is what we have discussed up till now. Right, and uh, today we are going to dis discuss something on this about managers. Explain why managers are important to organization. Tell who managers are and where they work. Describe the functions, roles, and skills of manager. Describe the factors that are reshaping and redefining the role or the job of manager. Right. Now, before we move ahead with today's session, uh, I would like to share one more video with all of you uh, regarding the functions of manager. Just let me know uh, whether you are able to see the video or not. See, these are the four basic functions of uh, management. Uh, usually, uh, many books will talk about post-corp and uh, these are the four basic functions which most of the books will be uh, having these functions. Management involves far more than just telling others what to do. Before any of you decide that you think you can do your boss's job, let's take a look more into what a manager does. The major functions that a manager completes can be categorized into four different functions known as planning, organizing, leading, and controlling. For some of us, we only see the final two, leading and controlling. But you should know that for every managerial behavior you do see, there is an equal amount that you do not. Behind the manager's closed door, they spend a good deal of their time planning and organizing so that they can effectively carry out the functions of leading and controlling. Now, before you think your boss is different, you should know that the four functions of management are standard across industries. Whether that be in a manufacturing plant, a home office, a grocery store, a retail store, a restaurant, a hotel, or even an amusement park. Effective managers understand how planning, organizing, leading, and controlling are used to achieve organizational success. Unfortunately, I do not have a rebuttal for those of you who have ineffective managers, but perhaps learning a little bit more about the four functions of management will help to identify what steps your ineffective manager needs to take to become an effective one. Try to think of the four functions as a process where each step builds on each other. Managers must first plan, then organize according to that plan, lead others to work towards the plan, and finally, evaluate the effectiveness of the plan. These four functions must be performed properly and when done well, become the reason for organizational success. The first of managerial functions is planning. In this step, the manager will create a detailed action plan aimed at some organizational goal. For example, let's say Melissa, the marketing manager, has a goal of increasing sales during the month of February. Melissa needs to first spend time mapping out the necessary steps she and her team of sales representatives must take so that they can increase sales numbers. These steps might include things like increasing advertisements in a particular region, placing some items items on sale, increasing the amount of required customer to sales rep contact, or contacting prior customers to see if they're interested in purchasing additional products. The steps are then organized into a logical pattern so that Melissa and her team can follow it. Planning is an ongoing step and can be highly specialized based on 
organizational goals, division goals, departmental goals, and team goals. It is up to the manager to recognize what goals need to be planned within their individual area. The second of the managerial functions is organizing. This step requires Melissa to determine how she will distribute resources and organize her employees according to the plan. Melissa will need to identify different roles, and ensure that she assigns the right amount of employees to carry out her plan. She will also need to delegate authority, assign work, and provide direction so that her team of sales representatives can work towards higher sales numbers without having barriers in their way. The third function of management is leading. In this step, Melissa spends time connecting with her employees on an interpersonal level. This goes beyond simply managing tasks. Rather, it involves communicating, motivating, inspiring and encouraging employees towards a higher level of productivity. Not all managers are leaders. An employee will follow the directions of a manager for how to perform a job because they have to, but an employee will voluntarily follow the directions of a leader because they believe in who they are as a person, what they stand for, and for the manner in which they are inspired by the leader. Controlling is the final function of management. Once the plan has been carried out, evaluate the results against the goals. If a goal is not being met, the manager must also take any necessary corrective actions to continue to work towards that goal. For example, if Melissa noticed that her team was behind in their sales halfway through February, she will need to put in place the necessary provisions to ensure that the second half of February is twice as productive as the first half so that by the end of the month, the original sales goal will be met or exceeded. Because the control process also includes setting performance standards for employees and continuously evaluating their job performance, Melissa will speak with each of her sales reps individually to review their performance. Some have added a fifth function for managers known as staffing. Staffing is the task of evaluating, recruiting, selecting, training, and placing appropriate individuals into defined job roles. A manager must spend time evaluating their workforce needs, discovering where employees need to be added, trained, or removed, and then make those changes so that the organization can continue business as usual. Let's review. There are four functions of management that span across all industries. They include planning, organizing, leading, and controlling. You should think about the four functions as a process where each step builds on each other. Managers must first plan, then organize according to that plan, lead others to work towards the plan, and finally evaluate the effectiveness of the plan. Planning is the first step whereby a manager will create a detailed action plan aimed at some organizational goal. Organizing is the second step, which involves the manager determining how to distribute resources and arrange employees according to the plan. Leading is the third step that is accomplished by communicating, motivating, inspiring, and encouraging employees towards a higher level of productivity. Controlling is the final function of the management where a manager will, once a plan has been carried out, evaluate the results against the goals. If a goal is not being met, the manager must also take any necessary corrective action needed to continue to work towards that goal. Some have added a fifth function for managers known as staffing. Staffing is the task of evaluating, recruiting, selecting, training, and placing appropriate individuals into divine job roles. Okay, fine. Uh, yes. Who is, who is that? Sir, video is not coming. Very much voice break. Baba, what about the others? Where are you? No, sir. Video is okay. Yeah, video is okay. Okay, I'll yes, try. To, I'll, I'll try to. Visible. Yeah, I'll try to replay it again. Don't worry. I'll try to replay it again. Just a moment. Don't to replay. Yeah. Also break it. Just, just a moment. Sir, I'll, sir, is it possible to share the link? To, uh, to so much better to share the. Link. Okay, yes, so, sir. It is fine, better. Fine. I'll share the link on the WhatsApp. Okay. Just a moment. Just now. I'll share the link on WhatsApp group. Sir, WhatsApp group is not I'm there on two groups. I do not know which is official and which is not official. 
whatsapp also okay fine anyway uh, who, who who was the character in the uh, video just now the video which we have seen there was Alisa. there was one manager who, manager or manager manager what was the character's name melissa melissa melissa, right? melissa good, good. Yeah. And, and 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 what was uh, what was she managing sales sales right she was marketing sales manager market. right or sales manager also you can call it she was managing sales for uh, which month she was february 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 good good excellent and what was her goal what was her goal and for for that goal what was she doing to increase the sale right her goal was to increase the sale for february month of february yes sir. she was advertising month. and for that what she, what was she doing she was advertising she was right right she was advertising the previous sales right uh, she was trying to uh, procure some uh, customers uh, who were there before right right what was, was the function planning. of what was the function of management she was doing what were those functions planning Planning, planning organizing planning, planning, organizing, organizing leading and controlling and staffing right? and staffing right so this is what was we are following in the video what was the function of management she was doing right right so let us yes, let, yeah let, let us move ahead with our yes. next ppt i'd like to share the screen fine excellent uh, this, that means all of you are watching the videos uh, minutely uh, keenly right so this is this is amount of participation yes, i want yes, sir. thank you thank you all uh, see official whatsapp group i have not to you sir for thank what you. for what in fact uh, i have got good students who are quite sir, interactive sir agar koi official whatsapp group hai sir wo thank you officially i don't know i am not aware about official group uh, i have to check out with the admin right i'll, I'll check out with the admin Let us move ahead with our today's presentation. Mitali, you have raised your hand. You want to ask something? No, fine. Okay. Let us move ahead with why managers are important to the organization. Organization need their manager skill and abilities more than ever in this uncertain, complex, and chaotic times. We all know we are living in a VUCA world. right vuca can anybody tell me the full form of this acronym vuca vuca it is commonly used acronym nowadays vuca world what does vuca stand for anybody in the group vuca well uncertainty volatility right v u u for uncertainty c for complex and a for ambiguity right so we uh, we all know uh, yes sonali you want to say something yes sir exact uh, i want this ppt which to do so so that i can go thoroughly with this notes because the whole uh, classes are um, um, in Sometimes not. Yeah. That's yeah. why I want to be able. No, I am not getting. No, I am not. I am not getting you. Uh, what What you said you want? I'll share it on the chat on the chat box. Just a minute. All All these PPTs. Just Actually, sir, she needs that. Sir. Yes. Just a minute. one i have shared the first class can you see it in the chat box say 
session two. Today's PPT also I have shared. You, you can download it from the chat box. I am sharing it on the chat box. Yeah, it will take some time to upload. It is it is still up being uploaded. Fine. Uh, so VUCA uh, again, this acronym is very important. V U C A. V stands for volatility. Uh, U stands for uncertainty. C stands for complex Sorry. complexity, and uh, A for ambiguity. So our world is VUCA world where things are very uncertain, complex, and chaotic. So to manage all those things, we need a manager. So manager skills and abilities are critical in getting, in getting what, in getting things done. The quality of employee supervisor relationship is again important. Just. Organization need their managers skill and ability more than ever in this uncertain, complex, and chaotic time. That is what we have discussed. Uh, and and to uh, to maintain the relationship between the employee supervisor, the most important variable is productivity and loyalty. So who are the managers? Uh, who who exactly we can define as managers? Someone who coordinates and oversees the works of other people so that organization goals can be accomplished. These are the people who usually supervise or who usually uh, oversees the work of uh, the, the, the team which are work, working under the managers. So his job is to see to it that all these employees are working towards a common organizational goal. Even though individual may have their individual goals, but uh, at the end of the day, the manager is the one who will make it sure that the entire team is moving in the right direction and moving towards the organization. Whatever the goal is decided by the top level management, he will try to achieve it. So that th this, this, uh, these people are called as managers. Level of management, this already we have seen in the very first slide. So I'm going to skip this part. Uh, let us move to here. Where do managers work? What what are their, their work areas? Uh, and uh, with whom they work? Organization. Obviously, managers work with organization. A deliberate arrangement of people assembled to accomplish some specific purpose. That is, individuals independently could not accomplish alone. So organization is what? It is a group of people working towards the common organizational goal. So what are the characteristics of organization? Organization have a very distinct characteristics. Like they have the, their own goal purpose. Uh, they are uh, composed of people have deliberate structure. Right? All organization has some structure or other. Maybe uh, not all the organization follow the hierarchy. What we have seen level of management as we have discussed earlier. Uh, but but certain structure is always there. You are supposed to uh, know that to whom you are supposed to report, and uh, who uh, and, and you should be knowing who are your teammates, whom you can give instructions. Right? So managers or managers are also called as administrators. Are the individual who achieve goals through other people. So manager's job is to supervise, to see to it whatever the goals, organizational goals or targets or objectives are set are achieved through the team which is allocated to the manager. So obviously manager will be having certain team under him. It can be two members team, it can be 200 members team. It depends on what type of structure of organization he is working with. Just a minute. Everyone is already on mute except Nipun. Okay. Just a moment. I'll put everybody on mute. Okay, fine. So, what do managers do? Manager, what are the managerial activities? See, the most important activity a manager do is decision making. You have to always remember this. Decision making is, is the core job of any manager. The decision can be regarding planning, it can be regarding organizing, post call, right? It can be regarding uh, leading, it can be regarding uh, directing as I said, it can be regarding staffing, coordinating, then reporting and then budgeting. So all sort of, uh, again, see remember that acronym, post call. 
right so all decisions related to these functions of management are taken by the manager manager allocate resources see resources allocation can be in terms of allocating uh, human resource as well as budgeting budget we, when we talk about budgeting we talk about money right so uh, how much resources has to be allocated where will be the decision which is taken by the manager then direct activities of others to attain goal direct the activities lead that is leading or directing others to attain the organizational goal this is what managers do but the primary job is decision making you have to always remember this the, the primary job of any manager is to make wise decision right not hasty decision but but quick decision and uh, decisions which are good for the organization as a snail you want to add something snail has raised snail you have raised your hand yes sir yes Yes, yes, sir. Sir, I I want to ask a question. Yes. Uh, uh, so in the uh, PPT you have written managers uh, bracket or administrator, right? Right. So manager and administrator have different functions, or they are the same? See, it's it's overlapping. In fact, uh, management is part of administration, right? When we talk about management, okay. administration is a very holistic function, like uh, I I S officer, right? when when we talk about i ias officer they are administrator because they take strategic decisions they take policy decisions whereas managers are usually uh, they take decisions which are uh, routine decision day to day decisions maybe quarterly decisions or yearly decisions also depends short term mid term or long term but administrator are usually people who take strategic decisions so you can uh, those cannot see managers and administrator cannot be uh, used interchangeably but they have certain uh, most of the functions are overlapping that's why i have written or administrators because many a time managers also act uh, act as administrator where they are part of the top management taking strategic decisions or policy decisions uh, snail is the thing uh, okay with you uh, are, are, are i am being followed snail you got the answer yes yes sir yeah yes sir i understood yeah yes so, sir so uh, yes sir i got okay fine so i would say 90% of the uh, uh, functions of managers and administrator are common almost right but but uh, whereas administrator will be sitting above the manager when we say administrator he is on the top right managers may be he can be a middle level manager or lower level, lower level manager also who, who is operational level of manager also we can call it but managers usually forms the part of top management when uh, when when it comes uh, taking strategic decision they are always consulted uh, no top management will take decision on on their own maybe marketing decision or finance decision or or maybe any strategic decision also they are uh, they are a part of opinion uh, maker right they are always consulted and that's why we can call them administrator also okay let us move ahead mitali you want to ask something yeah this is my next slide uh, all of you got the slides which i have shared in the group just yes sir second session pdf i have already sent the voice is break is it breaking uh, is it coming good now is it coming good see the next slide is skills managers need what are the skills that a manager should have basically broadly broadly dividing manager should have yes, sir, your voice is is it is still breaking just a Yes. Now is it was uh, audible clearly? Is it audible yes. now? Yes, sir. Okay, fine. Sir, uh, see, now, this, oh, yeah, this, this, yeah, yeah, this, this technical issue may be from my side or may at a time uh, it is it is from your side also many a time. So these are the technical issues which with which we have to bear because uh, this is this is going to. Bound to happen in almost all lectures. We are helpless in this. So, can you see the slide? Skills that are needed by the managers. Broadly talking, managers should have technical skill, human skill, and conceptual skill. 
these are the three skill which usually most of the manager should have right conceptual skill then we have human skill and technical skill what are technical skills knowledge and proficiency in that specific field like for marketing manager he should have all the knowledge of marketing like he should be knowing all the seven p's of marketing how to draft a marketing plan how to draw advertising campaign he should be well versed with all these terms and terminologies all these words right he should be well versed with that same goes with the finance manager finance manager should know how to read a balance sheet how to prepare a balance sheet right and uh, how to make profit and loss account all those things a uh, finance manager should know he should be well versed he should have expertise he should have proficiency human skill what are those skills these are very important skill which all managers usually have they are the ability to work well with other people are is nothing but human skill or emotional uh, intelligence also we can call it where you understand your colleagues you know their uh, strength you you understand their weaknesses or limitations and you respect those limitation and weaknesses but you try to encash on the strength of your team team workers right so he should be good human being he should be able to understand uh, what your colleagues are thinking about and what they are feeling about right at the same time the uh, manager should have conceptual skill also it is the ability to think and conceptualize about abstract and complex situation the conceptual skill helps in better decision making if you have a good conceptual skill as a manager you can take better decision so these are broad three skills that are needed you can we can further break it into various skill like coming interpersonal skill intrapersonal skill uh, then what you have communication written verbal right again leadership motivation this all these four skill uh, three skills can be broken down into various sub skills so the list is endless a lot many uh, attributes lot many traits traits you can discuss about when we talk about uh, a manager's uh, characteristics so but broadly you you have to remember this three skills that is technical skill human skill and conceptual skill okay i hope the things are clear up till now and see here the top manager yes, yeah here the yes, top sir. manager should be good in conceptual skill because this helps in better decision making as i said and uh, this is what is the job of top managers to to visualize to think from the abstract right and take decision for the organization whereas human skills are needed by all levels of managers all three top uh, top middle and lower level whereas technical skills are usually needed by the low level managers right why why uh, low level manager because they are operational managers they'll be working uh, as a interface between the workers uh, or the or the lowest uh, grassroots level employee of the organization that's why technical skills are more important for example production manager he should be good uh, in doing what in in maintaining in inventory in uh, in knowing when to order what are the reorder levels so all this thing uh, comes under technical skill right? he should be good in abc analysis Uh, it is is analysis which is done for inventory ma- inventory management okay fine let us move further so this is what i was talking about vuka world so now the organization uh, since covid 19 most of the things have changed when we talk about organization earlier things were a bit rigid they were not that flexible now organization know the importance of flexibility and organization know uh, how important it is to know that what is vuka how they are they are functioning in this vuka world where things are very complex that is multiple key decision factors are there volatility that is rate of change and uh, rate of change ambiguity lack of clarity about meaning of an event and uncertainty that is unclear about the present that is uncertainty you are not very much clear what is going to happen next so that is something which is called as uncertainty it is because of this vuka the organization has changed a lot see earlier the organization were quite stable they were inflexible they were job focused job oriented work is defined by the position the work was defined by the position it was individual oriented 
Permanent jobs were there and command oriented. Managers were making decisions. Uh, it was typical nine to five hours. Uh, typical hours of operation were defined. Whereas new organization, the characteristics have changed. It has changed for 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 what? I would say it, is, it has changed for good only because now the organization is quite flexible. It can adopt to any change which happens. It can adopt quickly. They have become more dynamic, more skill based. Earlier it was job based. Now it has uh, the most of the organization has become more skill based. Work is defined in terms of tasks to be done. It works are not uh, like what it is allocated to you. Tasks are, uh, are allot allocated to the teams and uh, they have to be completed within a given time frame. Uh, now the organization has become more team oriented. The jobs are temporary in nature. Most of the job you perform and then you move on to another task. Uh, involvement based, you have to get involved everybody. Earlier it was not that. Earlier, yeah, this is you want to ask anything? Yes, somebody has raised the hand. You can you can quickly ask. Yes, sir, can you show the previous slide? Just a moment. This one? Is it is it visible? Is it visible to you? Hello. Just a moment. अगले महीने नर्सिंग मुंजी करेंगे
Recording in progress. So he has message. Yeah, sorry, sorry, sorry. I got this. Please wait. He has thrown. Yeah. He has uh, written. Am I, am I audible? <laughs> am I audible to all of you? Yeah. Yeah. Yes, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. But you are not visible. Yeah, I got disconnected. But anyway, uh, let us conclude for today uh, because our time is almost over. Uh, we we shall uh, be completing. Uh, the remaining portion we shall be come uh, is, is the slide visible to all of you hello yes sir okay. yes sir yes sir yes sir so uh, i'd like to conclude for today uh, the remaining portion we'll be doing in our upcoming class that is why uh, how is the manager job changing in, in this buka world yeah. what are the things that are happening now just a moment so remaining portion we we are going to see it in our upcoming class whatever as per the schedule so this is all for today any doubt any uh, queries for today's session you have any doubt up till now remaining portion will be taking in the upcoming class sir can we add a so can we add uh, one more thing for this uh, latest uh, new uh, uh, way of uh, managing things like uh, the organizations are more flat nowadays yes yes they have become more flat they are they are, they, are, they, they do not follow yes, the hierarchy which we have discussed most of the organization has become flat yes, because because of the working style work from home and all this has made yes, it sir. more it, it it even more flat actually so, yeah so uh, yes, definitely that, that is what i said Typical hierarchy which I have shown yes, in the slide uh, applies to most of the manufacturing firm or big organizations. There, there this hierarchy is followed. Whereas small organization, it it has become more flat. 
uh, the, uh, it has become more matrix oriented where you can uh, you can cross check you can cross uh, communicate with each other uh, you t you typically do not follow any hierarchies uh, yes charlie so so we can say that uh... So we can say that uh, the, the subordinates are encouraged to participate in the decision making. Exactly. In decision Back making, uh, more and more subordinates are being included. That's why it's becoming more and more flat nowadays. Right? Yes, so, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah, fine. So this is what we're going to discuss in our upcoming session. Uh, factors that are reshaping and redefining the manager's jobs. So uh, let us meet in the next session. Thank you all, for all of you, for attending this session. Sir, can you please share Thank you, sir. Uh, slides, sir. Mm -hmm. Slides. Thank you, sir. Slides, slides are already session, shared in the group. Uh, somebody is shared. Second, in the group. second, second one, sir. It was second first. one. Second. Yes, second. Just, yeah. just, just this one, no? you are talking about. Yes, sir. 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 that uh, he'll be sharing all these ppts so don't worry about it it, it will come from to you through admin right uh, in fact i have shared today but uh, next okay, time sir. onwards i'll be sharing it with the admin and you can take it from the admin or the coordinator uh, dr chandan oh, chandan oh, sir is yes, there okay okay sir okay sir okay. Fine, thank uh, you sir uh, so this internal hello yes 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 sir so yes. this internal assessment which will be uh, we will be having Uh, is it um, MCQs or subject? Yeah, it, 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 will, it, will, it will be mixed like thirty percent. It will be MCQ, and remaining seventy percent will be sh uh, short essay type questions. Right. So it's, it's going to be subjective. So we have to directly, directly uh, do it on the uh, from the laptop itself. So or we have to upload some notes. No, no, not upload. Uh, in fact, assignments. Uh, I think you have to upload. Uh, see that part, the admin will be, the coordinator will be uh, directing you on that. Don't worry about it. Right? It, it will come through. LMS. Okay, sir. It okay, sir. That is what that is what I was worried about, sir. No, Thank no, you. Thank you. We'll get the schedule, and the coordinator will be directing you on yeah. that uh, on that matter. Okay. Fine. Anything? Sure, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank, thank you so thank much you, for your. Thank you all. Thank you so much. No, thank you, sir. Thank you. Okay, fine. Thank you for attending, and I'm, I'm uh, ending thank the meeting sir. for now. Okay. Thank you all. Thank yes, you, sir. sir. Goodbye, sir. Goodbye. Goodbye. Bye, bye. Thank bye, you bye, all. Bye, all. Thank you. Thank you, sir.